Hey, welcome back to my channel. All right, so I finished watching Praise This starring Chloe Bailey and some other people whose name I don't know offhand. But it's on Peacock. It's been out for about, I think, maybe a week and a half or so. Now, I, I went into this saying, okay, this is a church movie. I would say it's a family movie. I think they may have had some cuss words here and there. I think it'd probably be like maybe PG, PG-13 if it was in a movie theater. I'm just guessing. Uh, it was. It kind of reminded me of Fighting Temptations in a way. Um, with the whole... I only saw Fighting Temptations once, so I got... You're talking about me going back 20 years... Uh, of memory but Chloe Bailey has always did great in her acting role you know she's been acting since she was a little girl and she did a fun she did a, she did a phenomenal job and I love the singing the music it's, I guess you would consider it to be a musical not in the sense that like there's a scene and someone's talking and they break out into song but more so a musical in a way that they sing at appropriate times like when they're performing so basically, Chloe Bailey plays the cousin, and they call her sister cousin, the cousin of, um, I guess, the main character, and she was a bit much. She's one of those people, you come to work, 7 o'clock, and they're just hopped up, no, co no coffee needed, just... Ah, oh my god you know that it, it, I, I could see how she could get on someone's nerves but anyway so she's going to stay down there now i thought they were in high school but uh, obviously they're like 18 19 they're out, out of high school because chloe bailey's father her name was sam on the movie so sam's father was saying something about she wanted to take a leap year he went with it so anyway he had her stay down there with them for a little while in atlanta she's from LA so she basically ends up joining the church singing group because her and her cousin got caught at some party and the cops were called and the cops knew her dad and everything so that started that and of course they had the certified mean girl of the singing group who was real bossy and did nobody like her and all this and um her boyfriend i think was flirting with chloe or sam i'm sorry flirting with sam so this is a will packer production and i believe it was written and directed by a woman director you know shout out to all the women directors out there i will be joining soon hopefully before 40 i'm pushing it so we got to get going but anyway um yeah written directed by a female director and writer uh, i believe and quavo was in this too now correct me if i'm wrong weren't chloe and quavo dating in real life once upon a time i think so if it wasn't her it was her sister i don't know i think one of them was linked to quavo they actually make a cute couple i mean they were cute in the movie because they kind of had like they didn't really have a thing going on, but he was helping her with music, her singing, because, and you know, in a movie, of course, he plays a rapper. So, uh, you know, and, uh, let's see, Will Packer, it's funny because when I found out this is a Will Packer production, I wasn't really surprised because his movies kind of have, like, a tinge of corniness to them and I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way I'm just saying that that's I, I can just tell when he when he does stuff it's it's just a signature mark like people make fun of Tyler Perry saying oh the, this that and the third and he's a damn genius we all know it I love me some Tyler Perry so that's what I mean by a tad bit corny because I kind of felt that way about this movie too but it's a churchy movie so i'm not a real super big church religious person so maybe someone that goes to church every sunday bible study on wednesdays and all that ch church trips and all maybe they'll be more i guess what i'm trying to say is i feel like this movie has a target audience 
I feel like someone who's really into church, especially like the choir or the music part, will really enjoy and appreciate this movie. That I, I feel like it's one of those movies where you kind of, you have to be in that life to really get into it. It's not like some movies where it covers many different people, many different audiences can enjoy it. You get what I'm saying? It's definitely a niche film. Someone mentioned that they said they said they wished it would have uh, came out in theaters. I don't feel like it would have done too well only because the way movies theaters are now, like I mentioned on my last video, they don't stay long, so I feel like they they want blockbusters in there as much as possible. And this is definitely like a Peacock, B to watch watch it on BT Sunday afternoon. You know when you get off from church, it's one of those type of movies. Uh, it's definitely a feel good movie. I would say that. Like sit around, like I said, Sunday afternoon, get some chips, something to drink. It's like a cozy film, like a lifetime type deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I was expecting expecting was like I said it threw me off because I thought they were like in high school because the way um Sam's cousin acts the one that's real churchy she acts she her character was really like immature for her age I don't know if it's because she lived a sheltered church life but she you know she was wearing these doll clothes like puffy dresses and i mean everybody has their own style but i'm like damn did they have to make her she was extremely sheltered and sheltered not shy because she wasn't shy at all but she was i she i thought she acted like she was like 12 or something i don't know Maybe that was the intent. Maybe it was showing that she was so into church that she kind of had that going on. Because when Sam, Chloe Bailey's character, came up, she had a leather jacket. She was kind of on some grunge. That Rihanna album after her and Chris Brown got into it, she was like on that when she <laughs> when she showed up uh, to stay with her cousin. So uh, I do like how and another thing I keep cutting myself off I like I was going to say I like how you we see Sam evolving into slowly coming around to being okay with being in a church group I do like that but one thing about these type of movies is you know how it's going to end so it's like I said, it's really that's why I say it's kind of like a cozy film because you know how it's going to end, you know who's going to win the championship uh, or the tournament or whatever at the end. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you might have a few little twists and turns there, but yeah, overall, I would say it was okay. I don't think it would be something that I would watch um like man let me put that praise this on come come home from a day of work let's watch praises you know I don't see myself doing that but it was an okay film like I said the best part for me was the music I love the music some of the um songs that they sang during the tournament were just like it had me like maybe I need to go and look this up and see if they got this on a streaming service or something because it's good I'm pretty sure with it being a musical film that it has uh, probably a soundtrack and you know do movies still have soundtracks remember back in the day you could get a soundtrack a soundtrack was about as big as a movie like wait to hex wait into excel soundtrack about as big as a movie you know um there's so many more i could name of course i can't name them right now because i got the camera in my face but yeah but i you know i guess with people not having to buy albums anymore they can just stream stuff the soundtrack probably has died you know what i'm saying because it's like 
why buy a 12 song album and you might only like four songs when you can just stream the songs that you like so that that's probably why the soundtrack died um again back to my last video the things that me as a millennial will miss oh man but anyways like i said if you want to watch praise this it is on peacock and if you have xfinity guys remember you don't have to pay it all you just go there make an account as long as you're paying that xfinity bill you're good to go you get peacock for free all right y'all shout out to my subscribers shout out to my viewers and don't be afraid to subscribe you know just click that little button and you in there all right i promise to be a little bit more active on here guys all right so peace and blessings man until next time y'all have a good one